once we are in here, we have this folder structure in here. We have a place where we can place our media. And if we open that up, we can see that we can place the main artwork right over here. So I'm going to bring some things in here. I'm going to bring two styles of artworks and the background that we're going to use. And we have this folder in here, organize your photos and media here so that you can keep everything organized. Perfect. So for the main artwork, I'm going to place this one. And let's fit up to 100% so we see everything correctly. I'm going to hit S for scale and then scale this correctly right over here. And choose the part that I would like to, to use in here. Perfect. So uh, after this part, we can jump to the background. And if you're going to use the default color background that is included with the template, you can skip this part, but if you would like to add your own images, simply drag your background right over here and scale it accordingly. And this will bypass the background that the template has and use this one instead. So, and you can get different images, etc., for free from services like Unsplash, etc. So, uh, from this, I'm just going to hide it for now, and then we can look at that later on. And you can jump to the next part, which is place your QR code or profile image right over here. So, if you have a QR code, you can place it right over here, or if you have a profile image or a logo, for instance, you can put that right over there as well. So that's it. Now we can jump right into the scenes. So let's close this and let's leave, the, leave these two open for now in here. And I'm going to jump to the first scene, which is the minimal style. Now you need to choose which style you are going for, either the minimal style or the, or the 3D glass box style. So it would be ideal to choose at this stage so that you, when you customize the settings, you would be ready to go basically. So I'm going to go with the minimal style for now and then we will have a look at the glass boss style at, at a later stage as well. So in here, it is quite, quite easy to use. Basically you have this layer in here named scene designer from which you can customize anything. So if I go to effect controls and go to, first of all, the display card properties, we can switch this to card style, to glass style. And as you can see with a click of button, it is in glass now. Then you have the card, card color, so we can give this a different color. Just like that. Perfect. And you can even tweak the size. So if I increase this, as you can see, it gets longer. Of course, then it depends on the artwork that you are using. And you can even make this wider, etc. Usually I like to tweak it like this, to decrease it in size and then tweak its ratio like this so that you keep the artwork all visible right inside there. So let's keep this to zero, which is the, the default. And then here we can see the title block. And I'm just going to bring this back to white. And in here you have the option to add a title block. You can choose to remove that, as you can see. You can tweak its size, so, and also the position, just like that. So that's for the title block. And if you are wondering how to edit that title block, you can do that from the project in here. And if we go to artwork properties, you have the title block, artwork title block right over here. And you can go ahead and tweak anything in here as for the, for instance, the text, etc. So these are, this is the title, this is the text. And also you can even tweak the color of, of that background. So if we go to, to here, make sure the pointer is selected, you can even change that, that color as well. So that's for the title block. I'm going to leave it as it is and close this for now. Let's jump back to the minimal style. And that's basically with the cars properties. 
Now for the next section, it is the display element and we can choose to add a platform for instance or a column and you can even tweak the, the color of this so you can make it just plain white or give it any color just like that so I'm going to leave a column one in here and then finally we have the 3D depth effect and if we switch this on you can see that not much happens right now but you can choose to have a different a different artwork in here for instance if I have an artwork that has a, like a transparent background like for instance a logo or I have this this artwork in here so let's hide this for now and let's have a look at this artwork as for scale and maybe a little bit smaller just like that now if we let's go to minimal style if we go in here you can see that you can see that artwork right over there and let's go to the scene designer and effect controls I'm going to go to the title block and remove that for now and this is how you add the 3D depth and you can also in here so if we remove that you can see the transparent background since it doesn't have a background but if we add the 3D depth it adds for you this background which you can change the color for like that and you can of course we will see at a later stage how we can even add our own background in here if you would like so then for the background we can give it any color in here or as we said if we use a so let's give it a different color perfect or as we said if you use a, an image you can do that as well so if I go to your, your custom background in here and turn this on if I go back to minimal style you can see that it uses that image for the background so perfect and it, if for any reason you would like to render this in uh, with a transparent background so you would like to remove the background altogether what you need to do is simply hit this sh sh shy switch in here and go to the bottom layer in here just of course don't touch any of the, of the other layers but go to the bottom layer in there and simply tick tick that button in there and also tick the button of the place custom background and like that now you can render it on a transparent background